Do you have a menu separator on your Joomla site that looks like a broken link when people click on it instead of mousing over it? I do on my site, and in this video, I'm going to show you a hack how to fix that. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 173 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel. Uh, this video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for your Joomla site. While you're there, check out all the cool tools and information that will save you time and money managing one Joomla site or multiple Joomla sites. And if you use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA, you get your first month free. All right, so let's take a look at the screen here and see exactly what's happening, what the fix is. So I had a client this week tell me that I had a broken link on my site when you went to try and book an appointment with me. So I went over and looked and what I have set up here is a menu separator called connect and the purpose is for people to mouse over it and then they have to go down to this menu and then they can select. They can click on book a meeting but this is just a connect, uh, this is just a separator. But look what happens when you click on it. When you click on it, it refreshes the page and it's like, oh this is a broken link and that's what he thought. Oh you click on that, it's broken. But actually what's happening there is that it's not set up just to be moused over or actually just not be a link. And here's how you fix that. So we'll go into the back end of the site. We'll go to menus, main menu, and then we are going to scroll down to the bottom here and you will, oh, we need to view the whole page. Uh, let's just view all together there. Scroll down to the bottom and here is connect. Now it's still locked because I happen to be in there, but that's okay. I can go in and what we want to do so that this doesn't flicker like that and refresh the page is change the link value here to a hash or an anchor. Um, now, which is on the uh, shift four on your keyboard. Well, you know the hash for a hashtag. The problem here is that you can't put that in there because this is a protected field. Now, shout out to my good friend, Chait Madan of JoomDev because oh, uh, yeah. I was stuck on this and I asked him uh, if he knew a fix and this is what he showed me. Right click on here and I'm in Chrome. Right click and go to your inspect. So Chrome Element Inspector. And now this is a tool that we use in the front end of the site quite a bit for changing CSS. And as you can see, we still have CSS happening here, but what we're going to do here is after right clicking on that field, we'll see the HTML for it and you'll see it says read only. Double click that read only, select it and delete it. When we click up here, the field changes colors, it goes white and we can actually now type in the hash. All we have to do is click save. We will go back to the home page. We will refresh. And now watch what happens if I click on connect. Nothing. It just stays there. And so whoever's going to use that link will go, wait a second. Oh, I'll go down and I'll book a meeting. They can try clicking that or go somewhere else. No more flickering. In fact, if we go to another page on the site and then I go over and click on connect, it still doesn't change it forces me to go to other menu items. So if you have a separator menu item that you want just to be something that people mouse over, put the hash in there. Now, pro tip, good thing to remember, and Clayton, uh, uh, Chayton pointed this out to me. If you go back into this menu item and you go save again for some reason, let's say you change the name to connect and you put some, uh, change the menu title or the, yeah, you change the menu title, and you go save, what happens is this refreshes as it will save as a blank, no hash in there. And then of course, when you go back here, you will go there, you can click and it will flicker and end up going to the home. So there you have it. If you want the separator in your menu to just be something that someone can mouse on, but clicking does nothing, there's a hack to fix that in your menu. I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell to get notifications of new things happening here on the channel, live streams, new tutorials, and um, ring the bell to get notifications. Yeah, I already said that. Okay, well, that's all I have to say then.
<laughs> Until the next time, enjoy your Juma sites and God bless.